Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, three months ago, a channel by the name of Nemo uh, emerged on YouTube. I have been avoiding him. <clears throat> but uh, today I finally decided, all right, let's see what he's about. Found out three months ago. The guy's getting in the... Two days ago, he's up to 3,000 for one of his videos. What the hell, YouTube? Is it because he's Nemo the Mormon? That you're giving him special favors? Even though he's attacking the church? Loyal opposition in Mormonism. 5-5. Five, five. With Oaks. But uh, I'm not really quite sure what he's about. Because <clears throat> he started with fact-checking. Mo wives, mo problems, fact-check. 2,000 on that one three months ago. You suck, YouTube. It is clear you have a religious bias to the church. And you don't even bother to check his information. <laughs> As he says, I'm Nemo the Mormon. Oh, okay, he's cool, let him pass. <laughs> you suck. And you also suck because you let ex-Mormons go. Let them get a pass. And you won't give me a pass. You won't back off and leave me alone. I understand, yeah, the church ordered you. But uh, he, he's also uh, has a vi he had a video that I had to listen to. It's a response to Midnight Mormons. And I'm not sure what the term Midnight Mormons is. Uh, it's obviously some younger cultural thing that's going on now. Uh, it may have to do with the last days. Mormons who are all about the signs of the latter days, the time of the coming of Christ, taken from the Ten Virgins parable, because uh, he comes as a thief in the night, and after midnight he comes, and the Mormons who were ready with oil in their lamps, with a spiritual witness, rather than actual oil <laughs> because the other Mormons don't have reserve oil they have a spiritual witness and they say hey give us your testimony and they say we can't give you our testimony <laughs> can't be done you gotta get your own and so they go out into the store to get a testimony and they can't get one in time because the Lord comes and those who have a real physical manifestation of truth get to go to the wedding feast and those who don't have a testimony and only had a spiritual witness and thought that would be good enough oops and so yeah Mormons don't see it that way obviously I think you've probably heard this for the first time but uh, he, he said that midnight Mormons are accusing John DeLynn of being a home wrecker for profit. Now that's interesting. Is he having affairs with other women? I haven't heard about that. Because that's what a home wrecker is. You divide the family. But maybe it's because he's taking Mormon Mormons out of their marriage because they're no longer wanting to be Mormon. Maybe that's what he's referring to. Uh, that wouldn't be John DeLynn's fault, even though I would love to blame John DeLynn for it. Nope. 
his is more devious from what he's doing but uh, it's the church that are wrecking homes by causing one spouse to be blinded with spiritual witness and then the other spouse to live in reality and saying oh my god I can't be in this religion anymore my second marriage failed because of that she refused to accept the inverted pentagram on the keystone of the Salt Lake Temple which was on our wedding photos our Relief Society president made sure to get the whole door in in our photographs at the door after being sealed in the temple and so I saw it I knew what it meant the wife yeah she wanted to look around for some apologetic response to make her feel better about it and so she left me she couldn't handle that Joseph Smith was a translator So, uh, it's the church that causes the separation of families. John DeLynn is doing something else devious, and I've done those videos. And so, even though I had to crank up my volume all the way up on that video, <laughs> uh, he's thanking John DeLynn for saving his marriage. <laughs> anyway. And so then I saw the Book of Abraham versus the CES letter, fact check. And so I thought, okay, uh, let's find out if he's for or against the church. And because uh, it's dealing with Kwaku. <laughs> I gave Kwaku the key of translation. And he rejected it. He rejected it. I have the key of translation because the church prophets don't claim it pay attention to conference when they do the solemn vote the sustaining vote it's not a solemn assembly unless Nelson dies all of a sudden then Oaks becomes president so it will be a solemn assembly in that case but <sighs> if things continue as normal it'll just be a regular sustaining vote Pay close attention. Remember, prophet, seer, revelator, translator. Translator. Listen for translator. They're not going to say it. Unless they hear these videos of mine and say, maybe we should start saying translator. <laughs> <coughs> but shouldn't I be a translator? <laughs> I sort of botched it with Israel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh dear god <laughs> and unless you know biblical Hebrew and paleo Hebrew as I do you just don't understand the joke you do not see how badly he botched it and you don't see how tragic it is to have the church website with the thing let God prevail <laughs> oh my god they just double down on the fact that he is not a translator he can't even do a simple word because he's supposed to be the guy <laughs> he can't even get it right <laughs> that's what's so funny that you guys don't understand because you don't know translation <laughs> oh man I am never gonna let that go never and so, yeah, I tried listening, and there's a reason why I no longer watch Kwaku's videos. 
Dear God. This was before he became... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's... Well, I don't know. He's wearing the suit here, so I think he did finally become the... Is there a beeping noise of a car backing up? <sighs> but, man, my God. It's like tabloid. Tabloid journalism. They're just all for the, Hey, we're fooling around on YouTube! Defending the church! I mean, seriously, if I weren't Mormon, was not a member of the church, was trying to find out what Mormonism was all about, stumbled across a Kwaku video, I go, oh dear God, I want nothing to do with this. This is what it turns people into? <laughs> Hell no. Uh-uh. That ain't for me. I don't care whatever they teach. Clearly, I'm seeing the fruits. I don't like it. But uh, this Nemo guy, Nemo the Mormon, uh, he's he's got a knowledge of logic, he's got a knowledge of fallacy, and he's able to call him out. And yes, every single statement Kwaku and the other guy make, it's a fallacy. So good for him for recognizing that. I'm trying to teach you guys this. You guys aren't listening, because YouTube won't let you see my videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, apologetics for the church is all lies. They can't tell the truth. It's just nothing but fallacy after fallacy after fallacy after fallacy. And it, you'd think that with so many fallacies all lined up in a row, you'd think that they were actually looking off of a list of fallacies and going, okay, we'll use this fallacy for the first statement, this fallacy for the second statement, this fallacy for the third statement because they're reading off a script Kwaku reads from a script he can't do it off the top of the cuff like I do <laughs> dear god it was just horrible and painful to listen to Kwaku and and so I don't know how he's able to do it <laughs> but yeah he was pointing out the fallacy for each statement but I never get from him why he's still Mormon he does he does refer to himself as he refers to orthodoxy and I couldn't quite catch the the word he was calling for himself hetero something like that uh, a hetero Mormon of some kind. I can't remember the second part of the word. Uh, and, and, and I'm not quite sure what he's meaning by that. And, and so I don't understand him. Because clearly he knows. Because here, yes, Joseph Smith married a 14-year-old. No, he didn't. Who was Helen Marr Kimball? The daughter of Heber C. Kimball, who ordered Joseph Smith's death. Who was married by Brigham Young to a third wife. While well, Joseph was on the run for his life because Orrin Porter Rockwell was ordered by Brigham Young to assassinate Governor William Boggs. And Governor William Boggs blamed it on Joseph as the leader of the church. And so... When did Helen Kimball confess that she had been sealed to Joseph Smith? In 1886. I just did this the other day, I think. I found it the other day. I don't know if I told you guys the other day. 1886. She wrote it in her journal. 1886. She's in Utah. You know, she's unmarried. Joseph is dead. She needs a man to take care of her. I don't know why Heber and uh, his wife couldn't 
one of his wives, whichever wife Helen's uh, wife uh, or the daughter of, why they couldn't just take care of her. Maybe they, she turned 18, and so they had to say, okay, well, we don't want you hanging around the house no more, being a spinster. And so we'll seal you to Joseph Smith. You just need to make sure to tell everybody that Joseph Smith had sex with you. <laughs> and she waited until 1886 to do it. Because women didn't have rights. Women were property back then. Women don't understand this. Men don't understand this. It's been so long now that we've all forgotten. We aren't talked we aren't told and taught this. You know, the civil rights movement happened, and so we just say women are now free. And so we don't want to give women equality because equal rights. There's an amendment. Isn't that good enough? <laughs> and so people forget. Women were property. That's what the whole dowry thing was about. And so, yeah, even Heber's daughter needed to be taken care of. And so Brigham and Heber had this great idea. We'll get these women who have no husbands, or even some who had husbands to get them away from their husbands, <laughs> to marry Joseph. Yeah, we'll seal you to Joseph posthumously. You'll just have to tell people it was before, while he was alive. But yeah, I mean, and if you're going, well, no, they said. Did they? Yeah, they, there were some who said they had babies from Joseph. Except now we have this thing called DNA. Oops! No, it was the original father. So, yeah, I don't understand why he continues to be Mormon if he's not orthodox. If you're a less active, let's just call it less active, you're not orthodox. You believe in the church, but you're not strictly observant, so you're less active, because that's what orthodoxy calls us. <laughs> Technically, I'm less active, because I haven't withheld my name from the church records, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> And so, what then should you do? You want nothing to do with the orthodoxy and all these claims. Doctrine is unchanging. Well, no, it's changed. I've been going over that with you. The church is no longer accepting the ascension of Jesus. Do you understand what that means? <laughs> Our God is not Jesus. If they don't accept him, that means they reject the Book of Mormon. Because the Book of Mormon says he ascended on the same day. And yet, nope. Easter is a time where we remember the resurrection of Jesus, not the ascension. And if you're a Christian listening to this, you go, well, it's 40 days after, Travis. Not in Mormonism. That's what messed me up on the video I did the other day on ascension is because I had always been taught it was the same day because he went over to the Book of Mormon lands here in America <clears throat> same day but now that I realize the truth and that's what Nemo is not getting to he has a knowledge of logic and fallacy but he is not doing the work to put all the pieces together he's just saying nope Kwaku and and all these claims in the church are not true. But that's it. He still maintains Mormonism and just says, nope, current church is false. <laughs> then leave! <laughs> leave! Dear God, leave! You know, 
he even talks about the the tithing scandal with the hundred billion and, and using a seer stone. Again, he believes Joseph Smith wrote the Book of Mormon. No, Sydney. So I just. Uh, and he supports Jeremy Reynolds, supports John Dillon, but they're excommunicated. Why are you Nemo the Mormon? <laughs> I don't understand. And quite honestly, I don't want to listen to all his videos to try to figure it out. Because you're not coming out and saying it. So, dear God. Dear God. I, I did receive from Anonymous Latter-day Saint this morning uh, a public announcement to you guys that I approved and then commented <laughs> uh, of how he's figured it out. You know, he realized the church is wrong and but uh, what does it take? Dear God, just leave. 